In this video, we'll look at how to make tables of consecutive numbers in bases greater than 10. Now, in the last video, we looked at this problem for bases less than 10. And we made a table where we could change the base. It would automatically update and get the list of numbers in that base. Now, when we try to use our table with a base greater than 10, say base 16, the problem here is that we're not using the digits A, B, C, D, etc. like we'd like to. We have the base 10 numbers in the columns. Now in order to get around this problem, we're going to use a lookup table, which is just kind of like a key, like a code. We would like 10 to read as A, we would like 11 to read as B, etc. We'll copy, we'll copy our new digits onto another page, and we make a formula here. So we're going to start out, and we use a command called lookup. And what we want to look up is something from our table on the other page, not that page. We're just going to copy the whole table, so we want to look up cell B3. Count is the name of the page. And now we need to put our lookup table. So we go to the page that has that. Copy. Highlight everything here. Okay, lookup is the name of the page now. And there's the range of cells that our table is in. So I'm going to hit that F4 button to make that an absolute reference because that will be our lookup table for everything. We hit return. And now I just have to drag this formula. Which I think that's probably lower than I went before. So get up to where the table is. But you can see that now, instead of having those 10, 11, 12s, I have the A, B, C, D, E's like I want. I'm going to go back to that original table and change it to, say, base 12. And our translated table updates automatically. You see here it's going A and B. And now we start over again at 0. And now, as before, I have a formula in here that will concatenate. And I'm just going to drag that down. Now we have a list of the numbers here in base 12. Now you'll notice that I have a lot of annoying leading zeros. And I'm actually just going to leave them for now. I did find several different ways to take them off, but they're all really complicated. And I think if you want them off, you can use fewer columns or delete them or whatever. I mean, it was kind of fun for me to play around with that, but I think it's beyond anything practical, or there probably is an easier way to do it that I don't know. But in any case, here is how you can extend the counting in other bases to bases bigger than 10.